There's two things that you will never be able to out-train. Do you want to know what those two things are? What's that? Bad genetics and a bad diet. Mm, I like you that. can do whatever you want to do. You can run a marathon. You can come to the gym seven days a week and train for an hour to three hours. Makes no difference. Yeah. If you leave the gym and you go to McDonald's and you get a big and nasty, you're going to look like that McDonald's big and nasty. Yes, you are. That's just the way it is. I, I try to tell folks that all the time. They'll get through with the workout and then they say, yep. I'm going to treat myself. Yeah, I can't tell you, you just, how many times yeah, I've heard that. Like, you no, just, this, you can't. You no, that's not you how just it works. Wasted, you just wasted all that effort, all that work in the gym. Yes. You just wasted every bit of that Yeah, for not. And genetics plays a big role. You Diet can really, you can really can change your physique just with some resistance training and good smart training. You know, mm-hmm. and a good and a good diet. Yeah. You know, a good balanced diet. You can do a lot. You can, you really can. You know, but yeah. then you got these guys like Arnold. You know, and new guys like Colin Ben Moger, some of these other guys who just have they just have superior genetics. Yeah. They just do. You know. Yeah, some people are blessed that way. Yeah. Me and you were talking right before we hopped on air. You know, whenever it comes to a diet, so many people that I talk to nowadays, and even I feel this way sometimes, especially with how the price of just everything oh, gosh, went yeah. through the roof. A lot of people will say that, oh, I can't afford to eat healthy. I can't afford a good diet. Are there ways there, around there that? are There are some ways to get around it, of course. Unfortunately, right now with the way meat, the prices of meat's been going up. You yeah. know, typically, you know, it wasn't like it. You know, six months ago, it wasn't like it is now. We all know that. That That's kind of one of those things that's kind of hard to get around because you have to have protein in your diet. Yeah. You know, a good rule of thumb, you know, it's one gram of body of, of protein per body pound to maintain normal muscle density. To grow, mm-hmm. it's one point. You know, it's like one point five to two. Two, you kind of flirting with getting some protein in your urine and things like that. But you know, typically a good rule of thumb is one gram. You know, at mm-hmm. least. Um, so if you weigh two hundred pounds, it's two hundred grams a day. Um, but when, I, from, when we're talking about food sources for protein, I mean, it's everything needs to be grilled or baked. Don't fry it. You know, yeah. that's you're getting the nasty oils when you fry it. You know, you don't want that in your diet. You need to grill it or you need to bake it. You know, we can put it in a mm. crock pot kind of thing, too. I do that sometimes. But basically, proteins is really simple. It's turkey, fish, red meat, beef, hamburger, things like that. Mm-hmm. Chicken. I mean, it's pretty pretty simple. Yeah. You know, it's it's not... It's not sexy. It's just not sexy. It's just, it's boring. Hey, <laughs> it know? ain't on a burger. It ain't on <laughs> yeah. buns with it's, lettuce it's, and yeah, all that. No, it's, it's, it's bland. You can use, there's some things you can do, some like no sugar uh, barbecue sauces and things like that from G. Higgins. There's things you can use to help. But yeah, if you really want to get yeah. really serious about it. But now like your, your carb sources, um, rice, of course. Jasmine, brown rice, white rice makes no difference. Potatoes, I like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes have a natural thermogenic effect to them, so you can use sweet potatoes. Don't use no butter, of course. Use a little bit of, of uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon is another natural thermogenic, so it helps boost your metabolic rate. What is a thermogenic? It's a boost your metabolic rate, your your your, your uh, metabolism, so you can burn your body will burn body fat. Okay. Yeah, kind cool. of speeds that process up. Um, you know, but sweet potatoes are good. Uh, oats. Another great source, cream of rice, things like that. Uh, you want to stay away from the fatty cakes, anything that's processed, you know, saturated sugars, all that kind of stuff. You don't want to eat that kind of stuff, you know. For your good, clean fats, it can be MCT oils. Um, avocado is great. Almonds, raw almonds, not this stuff that's salted and you know, all this kind of stuff. No, yeah. you know, raw almonds and, and um, black walnuts and just things like that. You know, that's a good, clean fat source. You know, that's that's the kind of stuff you need in your diet. You, of course, you can have some pastas. You got to be really careful with some of the pastas that you eat. But yeah, you can you can do that. And there's nothing wrong with with once you get on a good, clean diet and you're eating right. Reward yourself. I'm not saying go to McDonald's and don't go to the buffet and do all this kind of stuff. But you know, have have a good meal. You know, or even one day where you kind of slack a little bit and, and, you know, reward yourself a little. There's nothing wrong with that. Me and my wife, we went to uh, McDonald's a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And, dude, it was almost 20 bucks for the, for the people saying nowadays that they can't afford to eat healthy. Yeah, that's not you, the case now. Yeah, well, if you start, like, looking at the price that you're spending on, you know, this, this fast food yep. or whatever it is, yep. you would be paying just about the same mm-hmm. as if you were to really yep. do your research and find these natural foods that are good for you. Yeah. 
Whole foods, good whole foods. Yeah, you know, and you can meal prep and make an. I don't. I meal prep too, right? Me and my wife both do. But the thing with meal prepping is, like, I nobody wants to eat chicken that's five days old, and I get it. I don't want to do it either. I was going to ask, Here, like, is that even safe? Well, yeah, it is. If it's in the fridge, kept in the fridge. Yeah, I've, I've okay. done it. Yes, lots of times. But here's how I prefer to do it. It's it is a little more. It does take a little more time, but what I've found is more successful, not just for me, but for other people, too. Um, like, cook on Sunday night for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Cook on Wednesday night for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Or Thursday and Friday, Saturday, you're going to be home. You can cook your meals fresh. Mm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes that sense. That way you're not – you don't have four-day-old, five-day-old chicken because it's, like, rubbery, right? Yeah. We all know that. That people have done that. We know that. And we hate that. So – that's one way you can kind of alleviate that little bit. But at the end of the day, meal prepping, honestly, if you're going to be successful with a real good diet and that, then that's what you're wanting to do, really the only way to do it is prepping. You're, not gonna, you're just not going to because it's going to be too easy to yeah. go through that drive through It's going to be too easy to go to the gas station and pick up something that you don't need because if you have your food on you and it's already cooked, it's already ready to go, you can just throw it in the microwave and cook it, you're going to eat it. Nine yeah. times out of ten, you're going to eat it. You know, But if you don't have it, you know, mm. and you got to cook it, and you're hungry, you may just decide to stop someplace else and eat. Yeah, man. You there, know? Th- there's an answer for every excuse that somebody has out there, and, that, and that's another one. It's like, I just don't have the time. Like you said, take one day a week to yep. just go ahead and yep. get it all over with. Yeah, you can do that. I, I, take, I take two. I'll take Sunday evening and Wednesday evening. And it takes me to, to prep for those. It takes me about an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. It's not that long. That's not bad at no. all. And I'll weigh everything out on the food scale. I'll either bake or grill all my protein sources, potatoes, cut them up in chunks, boil a bunch of rice in a rice cooker, you know, cut up yeah. a bunch of potatoes, throw them in the oven, bake them, you know, <sighs> get them out, weigh everything, put it in my trays, meal one, put it on there, meal two, circle it, meal three, circle it. <laughs> you know? say, I'm getting hungry doing you know? this podcast. That's, <laughs> that's how I do it, and that's how most people do it. But, you know, there's there's other ways to do it. I'm, I'm not saying that that's the only way to do it, because it's not. I'm sure there's people that's found better ways to do it, but that's what worked for me. Yeah. You know, that's all I can say. That's how I found that works best for me. But I'm sure there's other people out there that have, you know, done it other ways, and it worked for them, and great. How, how do you keep, you know— how, how do you keep at it? How do you keep your mind good? Because it's very easy for people to slip back into these it old is. habits. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, you know, that's a good question. I I guess just out of two things, probably, if I had to answer, the only thing I could really honestly say is, one, it's habit mm-hmm. is the biggest thing. It's become an actual habit for me because I've done it for so many years. And I don't know where, any other way to do it. Yeah. Um, and two, it's just, it's my lifestyle now. It has been for a long time. Um, so to me, it's the norm. Mm. You know, like, how, how long do you think that it took you to make it the norm? To where, like, just one day you didn't think about I'd it? Say, it just, I'd were... say it was probably a year or so. Hmm. It probably was. Um, I've had breaks, of course, you know, being deployed for a year at a time or whatever and just eating whenever I could eat, whatever I could get my hands on. Yeah. You know, and, I, you know, so I, ha- I, you know, in theory, I've had breaks, several of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But when I would get back, I'd come back home and then I'd get back on track. 